In today's video, I'm gonna be making, what am I making? I don't even remember what it's called. Where's my book? I'm gonna be making cheesy crustless pot pie. I can't even say that right. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another what's for dinner video. In today's video, we're gonna be making cheesy crustless pot pie. This is really good and so easy to put together. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but on my channel I do provide the points for all three programs and I provide calories as well. So like I said, I'm making cheesy crustless pot pie. I actually made this for a lunch prep one time. This does make enough for six portions, but the points and calories are really low on this. So what I'm gonna do is we're, I'm gonna make it for dinner and we're probably gonna have two portions and then we'll save one portion each for lunch tomorrow. So I have two different nutrition facts for the points on this on my website, depending if you're gonna use uh, turkey breast, ground turkey breast, or 96% extra lean ground beef. If you're using the ground turkey breast, it's 183 calories, four points on blue, three points on purple, and six points on green. If you're using 96% extra lean ground beef, it's 210 calories, six points on blue, five points on purple, and seven points on green. Make sure that if you're using the ground turkey that it is the ground turkey breast. It has to have the breast 99% extra lean. If you use just the ground turkey that's 93%, that will increase the points. So make sure to put it in your tracker and account for that. So you're gonna need one pound of whatever meat you're using. Here I have an onion diced up. I have two stalks of celery that I've diced up. I also have the recipe calls for two teaspoons of minced garlic, but I have like two garlic cloves there minced. We really like garlic, so for me, you can never have too much garlic. The next thing I also need is some canned potatoes. If you prefer to use regular potatoes, that's absolutely fine. I recommend dicing these, so I just kind of diced them already rather than having the slice. You can buy diced canned potatoes, but they are a lot more watered down. They just seem a little bit more soggy, so I usually buy them sliced or whole and dice them myself. We're also gonna need two cups of mixed vegetables. I am on blue, so I'm gonna use this whole entire bag. This is a little bit over two cups, but since I'm on blue, it's zero points for me. The recipe also calls for one teaspoon of fresh thyme minced, but I didn't have any, so I'm just gonna be using some ground thyme, and I used about a half a teaspoon. So in here I have half a teaspoon of the ground thyme, and I also have a half a teaspoon of salt and about three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper. I also have here two tablespoons of light butter, two tablespoons of flour, Back there I have one cup of water. And finally, the last thing is about six ounces of Velveeta. So a lot of you know that I have been really trying not to eat as much Velveeta as I used to, um, but I did have some Velveeta left from Super Bowl. We made this, we made like a cheese dip with the Velveeta. So I am using that. So the recipe actually calls for six ounces. I have a little bit less than six ounces, but that's fine. So make sure that it is the 2% milk. And basically I just use the kind that's in the box and I just shred it up myself, which is kind Kind of interesting it's kind of hard to shred up so the first thing i'm going to do is put that cheese back in the fridge because since it is more of a cheese spread i don't want it to melt that's actually going to be added right at the end all right so i have my pan heating up and i have sprayed it with some cooking spray so now i'm just going to add my ground turkey and the recipe actually calls for cooking the meat and then rinsing it and then adding the onion and the celery. Because this really isn't gonna add too much fat because it is the extra lean turkey, I'm just gonna add my onions and celery now. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have anything to drain. There's just no fat on that turkey. So now just kind of make sure that your celery is a little bit softened. 
So if you like your celery really softened, sometimes I will actually cook that a little bit first and then add in the turkey. So now I'm gonna add the garlic and the spices, the thyme, salt, and pepper. Mix that around. And now add in the potatoes and the mixed vegetables. Now what we're gonna do is take a 13 by nine inch baking dish, give it a little spray with some cooking spray, and we're gonna dump all of that right in there. And then just spread it out evenly. And in the meantime, I have my oven preheating on 375 degrees because we are gonna bake this in the oven. So now I'm gonna come back over to the stove. I'm gonna use the same skillet and I'm gonna put in that two tablespoons of butter. Just let that melt. So right now I've got my burner on medium. All right, as soon as that butter is melted, now just add in the flour. And just kind of add in maybe half of it first. Whisk it together. And go ahead and add in the other half. So now just sit here whisking it for maybe one to two minutes until it's all real nice and bubbly. All right, I've had that cooking for about a minute, but as you can see, it's really bubbly. So now we're just gonna gradually add in the water. All right, so now after the water's all stirred in, now just sit here and whisk it. Keep stirring it on medium heat until it starts to come to a boil and gets real hot. All right, once it starts bubbling a little bit, so you can see it bubbling under there. You don't want it to get to necessarily a full boil, but just watch for it to start bubbling. Once it starts bubbling, and it's real thick like this, then you can just turn it down and you wanna let it simmer for about five minutes. And during that five minutes, just stir it occasionally. Okay, so after that has been simmering for about five minutes, now I'm gonna take a rubber spatula and we're just gonna add it to the top of the casserole dish. So just evenly pour it over the top. And just kind of spread that over the top. Now, if you wanted to, at this point, you could even add, you know, like some biscuits to the top of it if you wanted to do that. Uh, we're actually having this crustless, so I'm not going to be adding those. All right, that is going in a 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna add my cheese and then put it back in the oven for about five minutes. All right, that's going back in the oven for five more minutes. So it is done. And that is what it looks like. I've actually had it been sitting here for just a few minutes. So now I'm gonna cut it into six portions. All right, let me show you what one of these portions looks like. So 
So there we go. So that is one portion. So that's why, like I said, you really could have two, but honestly, that's a lot of food. So I don't even think I'm going to be able to have two portions. So what that means is I'll be able to have a little something extra for snack tonight. So again, this portion, just like this with the turkey breast, four points on blue, three points on purple, six points on green, and 183 calories. All right, let's bite into this. Mm. Oh, I just love that. So again, there's no crust on this, so you're not going to get that crust flavor. And it also doesn't have a lot of like the gravy, you know, the thick heaviness. So it's really light tasting, and that's what I really like about it. So just kind of stir in. You saw how I put that topping over the top. So on each portion, just kind of stir that in. But mm, I really love this. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy.